How's everybody doing today? So I wanted to make a quick video. A lot of people have been worried about um, the presidential election in America. And they're afraid that Biden, Biden won and he's going to destroy America. And some people think, well, you know, Trump did all these lawsuits. Trump's going to win and he's going to destroy America. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, Jesus lived during the time of Caesar. And he is probably the most corrupt uh, politician or the most corrupt emperor in all the Bible. And Jesus never spent a single time trying to change government. He never said, hey, we need to change government. We need to make things better. We need to stop Caesar. He never did that. What he did do, though, is he taught people about God. He told people, listen, we're coming together as a group. We're going to work together. And um, I think he did this for a couple different reasons. Number one, if Caesar was bad enough that he just killed all the Jews, they get to go to heaven. If they're saved, they get to go to heaven. Number two, if Caesar doesn't kill everybody and just makes things difficult, we're going to work together. You know, the Jews were very, very, uh, uh, I guess you could say like a tribal type of group. You would never see a Jew sitting in the garage and fixing their cars. You would never see a mechanic you know, trying to bake bread. They wouldn't do that. If the baker had a problem with his car, he'd go to the mechanic. If the mechanic had a problem with his car, he'd go to the baker. Now, obviously, this wasn't Jesus' time, but this is just a modern-day um, you know, ideal. They wouldn't do that. If the baker wanted to get his car fixed and he didn't have any money, he might go to the mechanic and say, Listen, I need my car fixed, and I don't know what to do, how to do it. So I'll tell you what. Maybe if you come to my shop... Every morning for the next two months, I'll give you a loaf of bread. And they would barter. <clears throat> I think that that's what Jesus was telling these people. Listen, you know, if Caesar destroys us, you need to be saved so you can go to heaven. But if Caesar just makes life difficult for us, it's okay because we can work together as a group. And we could basically have this tribe mentality. And you see that played out in the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, when they start their first church... Everybody brought any kind of excess, any kind of extra money, and they gave it to the church. And the church would help out the needy in their in their community. You know, it doesn't really matter who wins. I mean, obviously, there's, there's consequences for a public presidency. There's consequences for a democratic presidency. But at the end of the day, if we work together and we love each other and we're confident that, you know, no matter what happens, we have friends and we have networks... It's going to be okay. It doesn't really matter because your job as a Christian is to teach other people about Christ. Your job as a Christian is to be positive. You know, if, if you have somebody that's on the fence and you're a Christian and you're always negative, they're going to think, well, there's no hope. I'm negative. But if you're positive, they're going to think, wow, I want what this guy has. I want what this girl has. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Obviously, I, I have a person who I want to win. I think it will better America if this person wins. But it doesn't really matter because regardless of who wins, we need to work together as Christians. We need to teach others about Christ. We need to show people love and support. And if it comes down to it and we, we're not working, we can barter. We can, we can work with each other. Hey, you know, I don't have any toilet paper, but I got some hand sanitizer. I'll trade you my hand sanitizer for toilet paper. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that uh, gives you some kind of a inspiration or encouragement. And I'll see you guys next time. Have yourself a great day.